Have you ever wanted to actually make a custom overlay in Streamlabs or Stream Elements, and the thing you wanted to do, just you couldn't figure it out? You know it's possible, because you've seen people do it, but you can't figure it out. Well, today I'm going to be talking about Node CG, which is the tool that uh, I use to do some things that you just can't do in Stream Elements. Um, and today we're going to go through a basic setup uh, from the, from scratch, and then we and then I will show you how to make a very basic overlay that would allow you to show uh, text whenever you want it, custom live, and change it on the fly. So let's get into this. For this project, we're going to need a couple of things installed. You'll need a text editor of your choice. I'm going to be using WebStorm, but that is probably overkill for this project, to be honest. Uh, you could use Notepad if you wanted to. That comes with Windows, or uh, Mousepad if you're on Linux or one of the other ones. Uh, Notepad++, uh, Visual Studio Code, or Atom, or pick a text editor, as long as it'll read and write files where you can change the extension to like HTML or JS, you'll be fine. Uh, I'm going to be using WebStorm. You will also need uh, to install and um, install Node.js, and I will show you quickly how to get that. Um, and then that's the only, those are the only two bits you need. Everything else is you need a web browser, which everyone has. Um, and if you don't, well done. I don't know how you've managed it. But uh, yeah, so let's take a little look and uh, get Node get Node.js set up for ourselves. And the first thing we're going to want to do is download Node.js. So you go to Node.js.org, and then from that click the current one, just click it and it will start downloading for you. As you can see I've downloaded it once before. Um, and once it's in, once it's down, you will want to open it and then run through the installation. I already have Node.js installed so I'm just going to cancel this. Yes I'm sure, I've, I've already got you installed, don't worry about it. Um, and that's all, that's all there is to it for Node.js. Now you've got Node.js Node installed next thing we're going to be going doing is setting up node cg i'll be going through this but if you go to nodecg.com you can see the getting started guide here and this gives you a step-by-step -step walkthrough of all the bits i'm going to go through today but i'm going to go a bit more in depth and give you a basic overlay that you can actually then use in your own streams so for that i'm going to be opening up powershell and if you press the windows key powershell there you go uh, this, if you click that, then you will have a PowerShell window. I'm not using this one particularly. I'm using a slightly different wrapper around it. Just it's bigger text for you guys. So I'm going to open it up using Windows Terminal, which is a free download from the App Store. If you want more information on this, let me know, and I will do a uh, tutorial on how to get this installed and set up with the latest PowerShell. You don't need the you don't need the latest PowerShell. This will uh, the the one I showed earlier will do absolutely fine. I'll do everything you need to for this. So for this, the next thing I'm going to do is change directory into a folder for this. So I'm going to go to my documents folder, uh, projects, YouTube. This is just the folder I'm deciding to put it in. Put it somewhere sensible. You will want this somewhere sensible. The next thing you'll need to do is, as per the instructions, npm install dash dash global because you want this available wherever node cg dash cli for command line interface so run that script and then i will have node cg available now i'm using 610 if the latest version is something different these days then most of these most of these uh, instructions will still work but um, apart from that, you should be fine. And I'm also using I'm using Node version 14.9, as you saw earlier, and npm version 6.14.8. All these may be different when you get, by the by the time you get to this. So if they're if they if the numbers increased, don't worry about it. Just as as long as they're at least these numbers at the moment. So the first thing we're going to do is make ourselves a directory to put our Node CG instance in. So make the make directory. Node CG. Nice and simple, that's made that. Change directory into it. And then the next thing we're going to want going to want to do is run node CG setup. Run that script. And it will do, it will automate the entire setup for you. Once that's complete, you will find that you have a load more files in this new directory. Now all these, don't worry about any of these. I'll go through any that you need to worry about, which is actually none of them at the moment. Um, 
But the only final step you need is to then start Node CG. And for that, you just run Node CG start. And you'll see it's now running on localhost 1990. So let's go there. Select that, right click to copy, paste it in there. And now you can see we've got a very bare workspace. This is Node CG in its default state. And you can see the basic bits. You've got, a, you've got a workspace where all your panel controls will go. You've got a graphics panel, which will list all your graphics, which are your overlays. A mixer for magic audio bits. I've not really messed with that myself much, uh, but it gives you the ability to change volume as you need. And assets, which are a way to upload images, say if you want a rolling, ro rolling image. For now, we'll be in workspace. But at the moment, there isn't anything to show. So let's get ourselves a new bundle. A bundle in Node CG is a, is a set of extensions, graphics, and dashboards. These are all the bits you need to worry about when creating a Node CG bundle. So for now, we're going to stop the current instance. So press Control and C while you're in that window, and you'll see that it, in the background, it's trying to reconnect. It's fine. This is this is as it's designed to do. To create a bundle, we're going to the bundles directory. So change directory to bundles, and let's make a new directory. Text overlay bundle. Now you can call this whatever you like. This is what I'm calling it because it's a text overlay bundle. After that, change directory into that. And now in here, we're going to need to install a few more bits and pieces. Uh, this is stuff that sets up the, that does an automatic setup for a bundle. So npm install dash dash global, again, as we did for the CLI. Yo, that's it, just yo. And generator dash node cg press enter and wait for npm to do its thing now it's installed we can actually run the generator for it which is running yo node cg and press enter and this will run through the generation bits and this will run you through a load of questions for what you want to set this up as so i'm going to go through most of the defaults here you want a bundle name i'm going to leave that as default description doesn't matter doesn't matter that's my name that's my email address uh, it's my homepage, keywords, relevant, irrelevant. Here we go. These are the, some of the questions you may want to answer if you're building your own bundle. Do you want a dashboard? I want one, so the default one is yes, so yes. Uh, I would like a graphic for this as well, yes. And I'd like an extension, which is a back-end server bit. Don't worry about that. Now, licensing, I'm licensing it under MIT, but you don't need to worry about that. Your panel's name, we can fix this later, so we'll just call it panel. The title is panel. Is this a full bleed panel? No. Full bleed means it goes full screen. Don't worry about it. How many width units? Two, leave it there. Pop-up dialog, no. Hex color, leave it as default. You don't need it in a custom workspace. Graphics file. Now here we want to change the width. I'm going to be doing 1920 by the height, 1080 pixels. Don't worry about single instance. And for this, you'll also want to say you want your your extension organized in a folder. That's it. Now we've done with Yo. After you've created your uh, bundle, change directory back to the original directory we're in, where you installed Node CG, and then you can run Node CG start again. This will restart Node CG, and then you'll see that the dashboard in the background has successfully reconnected. Now you won't be able to see anything initially, so you have to refresh the page, and then you will see that it's created a new panel. Now this one is from your new bundle. And you'll also have, under the graphics tab, graphics panel, an index. So if we open this one, you'll see that, again, it's a basic overlay. So now let's customize this overlay a bit. So as it's saying, open up that file. So find it, go to graphics, and then this is the file you're after. I'm gonna open them in, up in WebStorm. So here you can see the say it's the same layout here. So here's the main index, as you can see, for your graphic. And you can see that this is the same as is shown in here. Hello, I'm one of your graphics in your bundle. Now, most of this we don't need. In fact, let's get rid of everything we don't need. We don't need any of the style bits in there. We'll rewrite them as we need. We don't need any of the body tags in there either. And to make this stop complaining, we will add a title and call it text overlay. There we go. So the next thing we need to do is create an initial bit of text. So why don't we say, hello stream. Nice and simple, it says hello stream. Refresh the page and it'll update for you. And that's about it for this.
for this initial step. It's that simple. There we go. Now we've got a basic. Now you've got a basic overlay. The next thing we're going to do is add in some extension. So open up the extension index, and you'll see all this code. We don't need any of these log bits. These are just tutorial bits for the for for Node CG. For this, the first thing we'll have to do is create ourselves a replicant, not a replicator, a replicant. So for that, we need to create one by doing node cg dot replicant, and we'll call this one a text replicant. Nice and easy. Call it whatever you like, just remember this name elsewhere. And we will set a default value to welcome to the stream. Okay, semicolon, and that's it. Now, as we've changed the extension, this means we've got to restart Node CG. Every time you do a change in this in any of the extension extension files, you're going to have to restart it. And to do that, you open up your Node CG instance again, stop it by pressing Control C, and then running Node CG start again. Now, you won't see any change at the moment. So let's make let's make a change that allows us to see that this value has come through. So back in the graphics, we will create a script. And in the script, we're going to use that replicant that we just created by going const text replicant. And again, you can call this whatever you like. Equals nodecg.replicant. You'll notice this is the same way you created it in the extension. Oops. Equals. After we've got that, we're now going to set up a listener on this. So text replicant dot on open parentheses change. And there's an event on text replicant that when it changes, this will get called. So for that, we will take the value from the change and then we will use that value in here. Now, at the moment, we can't put it on anything. So we're going to add an ID to the div up here. And we'll call it text box. Makes sense. And so we do document dot get element by ID text box dot inner HTML equals value. Close the statement and then that's all we need for that. So we go back into our text overlay and if we refresh the page. It now says welcome to the stream from our replicant. This is great because now we can update that replicant using a dashboard, which we'll get to next. So back into our text editor and open up the dashboard. Now again, you can see all this extra extra gubbins that we don't need. Now, and this we can just get rid of. So we can get rid of the entire style tag. We can get rid of most everything from the body tag. And we can get rid of everything from inside the script tag we'll be writing all these new bits ourselves. And to stop my editor complaining at me, I will put a title in, and this will be called text overlay controls. What we want in here is a form. Uh, let's put an input in, and we'll give it an ID of overlay text. And let's create a label for this so we know what it is. Label for equals overlay text. There we go. And we'll put overlay text there and simple and then we want a button type is of submit and it'll just say update okay so now we have a form with an input and a button so we go back into our node cg workspace and refresh the page and you'll get an update and you will now see our input and you can see i've been doing testing on previous ones and an update button so this currently does nothing but refresh the page we probably want this to do something slightly more useful. So back into our editor, from our graphics panel, we can actually reuse this bit of text. So copy the text replicant bits and the text replicant on change. Go back into our panel, put that in the script bit, and then instead of text box, we want overlay text. And instead of inner HTML, we want to get it set it to value. And that's because this is an input and not a div. From that bit, now when we go back into the dashboard and refresh the page, you can see it's pulled in the value of the replicant and put it into our text box. 
what we actually wanted to do is when we put some text in this text in this field and press up the press update it actually changes the overlay so to do that we want to actually listen for us submitting this form so we actually want to put an ID on this form and we'll put call this update overlay overlay over alley overlay the next thing we need to do is get hold of the form so we'll call this text form equals document dot get element by ID because we're using an ID and it will be update overlay and we'll also want to get the con the uh, content of the input which we'll do text box equals document dot get element by ID overlay text okay so the next thing we want to do is we want to actually add a listener for when we submit the form so text form dot add event listener of submit and when the element gets submitted what we want to do is stop it from actually submitting the form because that's pointless we don't need that what we'll be doing is we'll then be reading the input and then sending that on to our text replicant so for that we do text replicant dot value equals text box dot value and that is it when we go back to our dashboard and we'll have to refresh the page again you won't see any difference but if we say hello again press update now the overlay has changed now let's make this overlay look a little bit better because currently it's a bit small so back in the overlay and let's pick ourselves a font a nice easy place to go is Google fonts so fonts.google.com you can now pick a font these are all available for use and I feel like the one grandstander but you can pick any single one so click on grandstander scroll down a bit find the find the style you like if you want the italic or the medium I like the regular 400 select that it will come up on the side and then click the embed and then you want to copy the link and it shows there and just paste this underneath the meta tag and then back in the choice you want to copy this font family and then in the style tags set font family to grandstander and now the font has changed to grandstander also we probably want this to be a bit bigger so let's change the text box size and do font size of let's say 80 pixels and here we go now we have a nice wide overlay and that's it now if I move this over there and put, and put our dashboard over here then I can put anything in here and it will automatically update whenever we click update you can now take your new graphic and put it into OBS as any other browser source as you would from stream elements or streamlabs and use it and modify it as you wish maybe you want a different color or bigger text or limit the size or change the size of it anything is possible and feel free to experiment so I hope this has been useful if you liked it hit like get subscribed and you'll see more videos from me about this if you have any comments or questions feel free to put them in the comments below or click the link to my discord and they'll be able to chat with me and others about this sort of thing there'll also be a link to the source code in the discord so if you want to go through and copy and paste things as you need to or if you have any extra questions about certain bits come and join us apart from that i hope you have a great day and uh, good luck with the stream <laughs>